Step one, finding a comfortable position. Step two, start talking. Peace everyone and welcome back to Kiteboarding Daily. Thanks for tuning in once again. Friends, I just went into Instagram and checked out the hashtag Kiteboarding Daily. And I was so happy about seeing how much content got uploaded over the last days on that hashtag. You know what I really enjoy about that format? It's not just like a professional pro rider who sits in front of the camera and talking shit into the camera because he gets paid for it from his sponsors. No, it's a proper real, real community driven by the same addiction that shares the passion, the same passion. And this is what I personally enjoy so much about that channel. And Kiteboarding Daily was meant to be a like a project during the Corona crisis and during the lockdown of uh, of the Corona crisis. And um, now comes a question I've thought about: Is should I keep on doing that format after Corona? Because in lots of countries uh, the lockdown is over right now. Or should I stop it because you guys won't have the time anymore behind the laptop or whatever? It's your decision. Leave me a comment below. How do you guys want to me to do to handle this uh, that project actually? Welcome to Kiteboarding Daily, the hottest kiteboarding stuff of the week every Sunday at 6 p.m. This episode, I'm gonna call that episode um, Community Edition because I just have so much community posts like from you guys and I decided to just do one episode about you guys and uh, how you guys spend your week actually. We're gonna start that episode with a picture. This picture is really special to me and it's posted by Michael Eriksson. I guess he is from Denmark or Sweden or whatever. Michael, where are you from actually? <laughs> and uh, the picture, I, I just saw the picture and was not sure. Why Why does he post that picture? What is so special about the picture? And then I kept on scro uh, scrolling and then I just went back and was like, fuck, this guy has just one leg actually. So Mich Michael went kiting with that guy, I, I think, I, I guess my, Michael is uh, some kind of instructor or whatever. And he went kiting with Matt Johnson. And Matt Johnson is a extreme sport athlete who has just one leg. And it's so fucking, sorry for the word, but fucking inspiring. See that guy doing all this crazy activities i mean check out his instagram channel he does slacklining he does skydiving paragliding skateboarding he does just everything and goes into the gym and whatever but at the end of the day he just has one leg and this is so inspiring to me i mean we all all we guys we're just searching for for reasons why we can't do something like, oh, I can't go kiting today because the wind is too gusty or whatever. And this guy, he just gives a shit on that and does what he loves. I mean, we, we all can learn a lot from him. Super, super motivating, Matt Johnson. And thank you, Michael, Michael, Eriksson for posting that picture. So, next category is called Getting the Trick. I really enjoy that format because this is about a person who wants to learn a new trick and tries that trick as long as he nails it. I have um, a playlist on my Ben Vehos YouTube channel which is called Drip Series and this is basically the same concept. I'm trying to learn a trick and taking the viewer on a journey, like on, on my journey learning that trick. And I think this is super inspiring for the viewer actually. The first video is posted by Raggling Ball Kiteboarding and uh, they shot it in Warcom. And the rider, Raggling Ball Ruben Andringa, learning the Kite Loop Lake back row. I guess the rider is Ruben Andringa and he tries a late back row as long as he nails it. I really enjoyed watching that. Check it out. Go! It's actually a good height to try these kind of tricks. The kite is catching you, but 
you you don't get the jank or the the pull the massive pull and the kite loop and you don't have the the height to seriously injuring yourself he's getting it higher and higher and that one i think was the first one he kind of nailed actually yeah not bad not bad one last one well that's been a bit higher and he nails it super super sick really stoked for you ruben nice video nice progression i really enjoyed watching that clip actually next one goes out to michael erickson once again he's been posting quite a lot actually he's uh, really pushing kiteboarding on his instagram channel check it out to watch fun kiteboard stuff on instagram and um, he kind of dropped the camera on the beach, just some, some kind of GoPro, whatever, and tried different freestyle tricks in front of the camera. It looks like he's on a quite good level in freestyle, actually. He does like back mobs and uh, back to blinds and stuff like that. And um, I really enjoyed watching that video because I really know these kind of days when nothing works out. Check out that video, guys. I'm gonna shut my mouth because you have to read what he writes into that video. Let's go. <laughs> I know this, sorry. I didn't want to say anything, but I know this so badly. Almost. Yeah, and no. <laughs> Ah! Nice shifty back to blind. <laughs> I really enjoy watching that. I really know these days. And it's such an honest video. I mean, most writers would try to cut and to edit that video that it looks like they're nailing every single trick they do. But this is not how it is. Everybody crashes. And this is so important to share that kind of side of kiteboarding. Crashing is part of the game, actually. Yes, next um, uh, video of the getting the trick category is posted by Adriano Bono. He does mega loops, super low mega loops on short lines. I'm not sure what the line length, I guess it's been around 60 meters. And I really love watching his progression with these line lengths. It is quite tricky doing kite loops with short lines, especially the first one. Check out that video. This is what I call the oh shit moment when the kite doesn't come up again. Fuck. Sorry. Oh. Hell yeah. Nice kicker wave. Taking off, looping the kite and nailing it. Super sick. Super sick. <laughs> He's quite stoked, I guess. Nice one. Love it. Hell yeah. Super, super nice. I think I'm gonna use that kite loop as thumbnail once again. I love kite loops in my thumbnails, as you might found out already. <laughs> nice one. Thank you. Thank you, Adriano Bono, for that sick video. It's super, oh, it's super, super motivating for all of us to push our kiteboarding as well. Last video goes out to Zeb Jait. Child, not sure how to pronounce that. It is shooting at Tahuna Torea Nature Reserve. And it's not really about getting the trick. I mean, I mean, he does quite big gaps in that video. But to me, this video is such a positive vibe. And I was watching and it was like, I felt so good watching that video. It really took me on his journey that I thought, okay, I'm gonna drop it into that category as well. Let's jump straight into the video. Here we go. Nice tunes. Love it. Just another rainy day at the kite spot. It's such a nice kite spot actually. Some kind of sandbar with onshore wavy choppy conditions and offshore flat water conditions. And it's such a huge gap. Well done, dude. Fuck, that's a huge gap, actually. Well done. Well done. Love it. <laughs> Looks like he's quite stoked, actually. And second one. One footer. 
Ah, no scrap. Not bad as well. And nailing that one on butter flat water. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, looks like someone is getting his adrenaline level. Nice one. Thank you. Thank you, Jeb, for that nice video. Next category is called the Crash of the Week. As you guys might know already, it's one of my most favorite categories, actually. I love watching others crashing. I know that, I mean, crashing is part of the game and I, I, don't, I don't love watching it in a bad way. I just like think it's super entertaining and I, I love watching others like pushing and progressing their kiteboarding. And yeah, for sure, crashing is part of the game if you wanna push your kiteboarding. And the first video is posted by Kiteboarding in Uruguay. Once again, all of them have put the hashtag kiteboarding daily into that video and made it as some kind of community post and I really dig them to like, yeah, doing that actually. Let's jump straight into the video. Huge kite. Oh, fuck. Oh, you almost caught the cameraman. <laughs> Shit. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Ah, he smashed his GoPro on this on this harbor actually. Hijo <laughs> puta, hat er gesagt. Sorry, it was German. Hijo puta, what he said. I think it means like um, son of a bitch. <laughs> nice video. Thank you, Kaipori Uruguay, for posting that one. Next one goes out to Frederick Runge Kite. And it's shooting in um, Mauritius actually and he writes throwback to one of my hardest crashes back in Mauritius let's jump straight into that video here we go a back roll kite loop oh fuck with the pulled oh holy moly holy moly Frederick was it meant to be a kite loop or was it a mistake I mean your adjuster was fully pulled that had to end like that Dude, I hope you are fine. Oh, he oh, he completely got out of access. Okay, this is one of these crashing videos I should not enjoy to watch. Hell yeah, that was that was bad. Uh, Frederick, let us know more about that in the comments, please. What was it? Was it meant to be, or was it a mistake with the kite loop? Yes. Next one is the shot of the week. And. My teammate Steven Ackersteig does that shot with, not sure who's into that, with Willow Tonking River back in Ireland. And the shot is taken by Los Julios, which is actually um, a really good photographer. I know her personally as well. Oh, I couldn't find the page. That's weird. Okay. Not sure what went wrong. And um, I really enjoy that shot because it's kind of like everything is perfect in that shot. Steven Ackersteig is some kind of totally inverted over the building, like over the, the, yeah, over the top of the building in front of this incredible looking atmosphere, sunset or whatever it is. And Willow is riding on the bottom and uh, enjoying himself on a seven square meter nexus. I really enjoyed that shot and I thought, okay, that shot needs to get into this episode. Even though Steven doesn't put the hashtag kiteboarding daily into that shot, which makes me a bit sad actually, but this is how it is. Yes, and the last category is um, the video of the week. I guess most of you might heard from this horrible happening in the Netherlands um, where I, th I think it were five uh, wave surfers died in the sea because um, yeah there was some kind of foam in the water which got that high that they couldn't breathe anymore and that guy who is called um, Will Willem Hoft kiteboarding and he sits in a rolling chair I guess he's some kind of paralyzed and also kites in a rolling chair was out that day and describes what happened and that video got already around 38,000 views which is quite a lot and um, to me it was super interesting. It's not 
an entertaining video. It's, it's a super interesting video about the situation and what happened over there. I'm not gonna jump into that video right now because I think you will do that yourself and the video is about 2 minutes and 35 seconds. But still check out that video and find out what happened to these guys. I think it's a safety thing. I think it's really important for all of us um, who are doing that sport to know about this can happen and um, yeah yeah that's basically it for today once again thanks for um, using the hashtag kiteboarding daily in your instagram post that much it's super motivating to me to see you guys sharing that project over here and i think it it turned into a really nice direction i never never thought it's gonna go that way actually and and i really enjoy watching how it grows and how it like how the way it goes actually that project and um, leave me a comment below if you want to keep me to keep on doing that project it's your decision as i said in the intro already and yeah thanks for watching and i hope to see you soon again Peace!